All right, Coach, you've had a couple days now to look at that uh, Notre Dame film. Any new thoughts after you, after you broke it down? It was just a lot of positives come out of the game. The yeah, guys fought really hard, gave us a chance to win. Uh, obviously, uh, we have to eliminate the penalties, uh, really put us back in some bad situations, especially towards the end of the game. Uh, we need to do something with our field goals. So we need to make the field goals when we get a chance to. We're going to open up our field goal uh, kicking competition this week uh, to see who's the best one out there. Obviously, we feel that Andre has done a lot of good things for us. But we'll give somebody else a new shot, see what happens this week in practice. You said going in that it was going to be a big man's game. It certainly turned out to be that. seemed like your offensive line was winning the line of scrimmage in the first half and maybe not in the second half. Is that, is that mm -hmm. how you saw it? Yeah, we struggled a little bit in, in the second half, especially at some crucial times. Uh, number seven really gave us a, a, some fit. Uh, Stephon to it was a really good player. Uh, we thought that we played good, pretty good against Nick's inside, but uh, some crucial times, their D-line made some plays. The trainers were kept pretty busy in the second half. Uh, what kind of injury updates uh, do you have for us? Sounds like your tight end position is going to be a little lean this week, and then maybe an update on Marquise. Yeah, well, Randall Telfer and Xavier is going to be out. I don't know how long, but they're not going to be playing this week. Uh, Justin Davis will be out. Uh, Marquise is questionable. Again, we have a lot of guys questionable, uh, but we feel that we will become healthy towards the end of the week. Talk about your quarterback a little bit. He was such a big story going into this season. He's really been under the radar the last two or three weeks, but that's probably a good sign. It means his, his play has picked up. I really like the way Cody's playing. Uh, he's making plays, making plays, running the ball, making good decisions. He had that one interception. He's had one turnover in two games. Uh, really becoming a leader. Has a lot of gumption. Our guys are believing in him. Now we shift the focus to Utah. This was a team that was good enough to beat an undefeated Stanford team. What do you see from the youth? A powerful team. Good on the lines, very big offensive line, great running game. Uh, guy gave Stanford problems, obviously. Uh, defense that leads the Pac-12 in sacks. They get up for big games that we know they'll be up for us. Big QB, 6'7 QB, Travis Wilson, what, what's his story? Does a great job of running the offense, and, and he's from San, San Clemente down there. I recruited him, great, great uh, young man. Does a good job of running the offense and can run the football. They brought Dennis Erickson in to uh, coach the to coordinate the offense this year. Another guy with the U ties. Uh, what's typical of Dennis Erickson offense? A tremendous football coach. Uh, coach does details. Uh, will take a shot. Uh, the play action game has a tremendous uh, knowledge of the run game. Is just a tremendous coach. You're only one game back in the Pac-12 South and nothing but Pac-12 games the rest of the season. Is that how you shift your focus now, trying to attack that division? Here's the deal. We, we told our game, guys that we'll start this game three about new season. Utah's ahead, and that's we're just taking it one game at a time. And Any specific message to them this week as you, as you talk to them as they begin practice? Be positive. Bounce back. Uh, really rely on the team, one heartbeat, and continue to move forward and fix the things that we did wrong. All right, potentially back, bounce back Saturday, this Saturday at the Coliseum, 1 p.m. Thanks so much, Coach. Thank you.